Okay, um, I still don't feel that you've shown that the universe itself can't be eternal, just as you're, you're saying uh, God is eternal. But I'd like to focus on this intelligible thing. Um, what do you mean by intelligible? When I say intelligible, I mean something that has a purpose that can be understood by another intelligent agent. So it's something created by an intelligent agent with a purpose that can be understood by another intelligent agent. Um, so when I write a letter, uh, you can read it. And if you look for the source of that intelligence, it's me. And not something that came before me, Natural selection is a non-intelligent process. It originates from uh, the, the natural uh, molecular structure of the universe, which is also non-intelligent. So the source of intelligence is me. It, it's not something that came before me. Now, if a rock falls on my foot, that generally doesn't seem like something that originated from an intelligence. I, I can assume that it came from an intelligence and then try to figure out what that intelligence uh, was trying to tell me with this rock but I think I'll quickly um, get confused and find out that that really doesn't describe the situation nearly as well as just well the, the rock fell because of natural causes not, not because of an intelligent purpose on the part of some intelligent being